You're watching GameSpot at Summer Game Fest. I am Tamur Sain, and I am joined by Matsumoto-san and Nakayama-san from Capcom. Uh, one of the big games, obviously, of the show is Street Fighter VI, playable on the show floor. I've played maybe three hours of it, and I'm going to ask the folks some questions. So, first things first, I guess um, coming off Street Fighter V um, had a kind of tumultuous cycle and eventually got to a really good point. Um, what were the key objectives going into VI, and what was the kind of ethos coming into to a new game? So one of the things that he wants to really focus on with Street Fighter VI is the whole element of communication. Obviously, you know, as a one versus one fighting game, the communication that happens between uh, uh, the fighting opponents is very valuable. But there's other elements with Street Fighter VI, like the, the new uh, Battle Hub mode that we just announced. We want there to be um, provide to deliver uh, an ex like a an experience that allows people to communicate with with people with uh, people all over the world and kind of uh, enhance that aspect of it. I guess my main kind of takeaway from it is it's quite mechanically dense. There's a lot to think about, um, even more so than uh, Street Fighter Five. It feels almost in terms of what I have to think about, closer to something like Third Strike. Um, what does it say about the game that you're now willing to have all these mechanics layer over each other? It felt like Five was a little more like, let's pare it down a bit so more people can play it. Are you now thinking, let's just do what we need to do to make sure it feels like a kind of fighting game with depth and just hope that the hardcore crowd are happy? Yeah, I mean, with Street Fighter Five, there were there were aims to kind of make it a little more like uh, easier to kind of get to uh, dive into, but with Street Fighter VI as well, um, you know, with like the new drive system, they wanted to uh, provide new moves that are connected to this system, like maybe uh, do like a drive impact where you can uh, execute by pressing two buttons simultaneously, and having providing all these different layers within the same system, they wanted to give that kind of flexibility back to uh, both core and uh, new users. Um, I'm interested in kind of like the style of the game, the visual style and aesthetic. What is, for me, it felt like it's it's really earning the name Street Fighter. Um, it feels a little more like gritty and on the road, whereas Five felt a bit more like like a spectacle esports event. Um, what was the kind of thinking going into the visual style and the audio style and the kind of fidelity of presentation? Also, kind of like what was the objective with it? Yeah. So I mean. Uh, as you mentioned, with, with the street being in the actual name of the game, uh, there definitely is that, uh, that art direction that we're going for. And this is kind of like a, a take back to, you know, back to like the Street Fighter 1 days when we had like the graffiti on like the, the, the brick wall that breaks through. And then also, you know, Street Fighter 3 had a, also had a very strong uh, street, hip hop, urban culture sense in terms of the aesthetics. And, um, but I mean, not only that, you know, uh, we want to, you know, present to present the game in a way that that modern uh, game players will kind of uh, will be able to resonate with. So it, there's definitely multiple branches that we're taking into consideration, and and that art style just seemed uh, was a perfect match for Street Fighter Six. Can you talk about um, what was the kind of thinking with the uh, adventure style mode that is that has been announced, which is really cool, where you're moving around the city and that kind of stuff, and also how expansive is that? Should people expect to play it for like 10, 15, 20 hours? Is that something that you expect people to come back to a lot? And yeah, how much depth is there there? 
Yeah, so it's uh, we can't really say about like how many hours of gameplay this is going to deliver, but uh, one of the intentions of this mode uh, that Nakayama san really wants to emphasize is that this is they um, with I mean with past Street Fighter and, and traditional fighting games there is usually only like a, a training or tutorial mode and then after you complete that it's like okay now just jump it right into the, the actual fighting game element of it and this is one of the the objectives of this is to kind of uh, deliver a new and fun way that a player a new player who might not necessarily be as versed into fighting games or might not be familiar with Street Fighter to experience and through that journey to be able to kind of learn oh this is what this is what how you how you play in a fighting game, this is what makes a fighting game actually fun. And through that journey, then hopefully they'll, you know, get more and more familiar with the actual fighting game aspect of it. And, um, you know, I, I mentioned earlier, we, we're not gonna, we don't have uh, a lot of information in terms of like how much gameplay it is, but we wanna emphasize the fact that this isn't just like a supplementary bonus mode. This is going to be like a full, like fleshed out mode that we're putting a lot of effort into, into making. And, and yeah, it's, it's a big project and challenge of its own. So uh, we hope you're excited for it. With that in mind, um, the last game to have a World Tour mode was Street Fighter 03, if I remember correctly, which um, the World Tour mode part of it was an actual World Tour, and so far we've only seen Metro City. Are we going outside of Metro City, and also will it have the kind of RPG style system that um, the 03 version of it had? That's funny that you touched on the Street Fighter uh, 0 or Alpha 3. Um, that, that is something that they, they had in mind and you know it's they're, they're definitely like acknowledging that that mode in, in the past game. Uh, we'll have more to share with you down the line so uh, we hope you stay uh, stay excited. Uh, last question I asked Twitter what they wanted to know most about the game and a lot of people were asking why does Ken look so sad? Um, do you have an explanation for why Ken looks so sad? Is he still is, is he still married? Uh, is he divorced now? What's going on? We haven't officially announced that particular character, so there's not a lot that we can say about it, but you know, story is a very uh, important aspect for, for characters in, in general. And um, uh, we don't like to see a lot of people like, you know, di dying <laughs> in, these, in these games, but um, we, uh, we hope to be able to share with you some more information down the line. Nakamasan Matsumasan, thank you so much for your time. So there you have it for Street Fighter 6. We've got plenty of gameplay on GameSpot.com and YouTube.com forward slash GameSpot. And keep it locked on the site for the rest of Summer Game Fest and more coverage around Street Fighter 6. See you later, everyone.